Hiya, and welcome back to Horde Progressions. Yeah. Star is feeling not good. So, she's sort of out of commission right now. I'm doing tea things. And I'm just here. Yep. So anyways, hang on, let me just... Don't want to pull a Todoroki. Yeah. And let's jump right in. Arrive back to find April in the same state as I left her. As I left her. No signs of arson, just yet. Hey. Have fun on your date. Her tone was devoid of any inflection. Hey, it wasn't a date. We just went to Poyo's and it was... something. That bad, huh? Well, no, it was fine. Turns out he's just a lonely guy and doesn't know how to navigate life in Douglas. He and I are alike in that way. Doesn't sound like it was the worst. Right. Also, get this. He's loaded. Uh, yeah, you're just figuring that out now, Sherlock. What does that mean? How the hell did you figure it out? Uh, the dude wears nice clothes and didn't know what Poyos is. He's a clueless rich kid. Oh, jeez, am I really that oblivious? Yeah, you kinda are. Not helping! Hey, I just tell it like it is. But you're in good company, though. Pat can't get a clue half the time, either. Daryl's even worse. Well, maybe I'll just hang around them then. I'll be among my kind who actually understand me. For the love of God, please don't. All that stupidity concentrated in one place might create a black hole. Well, hey, if we all die, then at least Pat will die doing what he loves. Sucking multiple men into a hole. You wash away the rain, black hole sun. Oh my god, already we're starting with the penis jokes. Like, ah! I, I can't. Ah! And now I'm in position. Puff, 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 puff. Ha! Alright, go ahead. She tried desperately to conceal her laughter, but wasn't successful. Tennis ace. The laugh caused a short pause in the conversation, which made me become cognizant of the sound of a single bass guitar droning in the background. I glance back to see who it is. I immediately recognize our patron as a familiar capybara with a bass guitar and paw. Oh, hey, Cliff's here. Yeah, he stopped by after he finished his shift. He's waiting for me to get off work so we can drive to Chester and Dave's practice. Ah. I fixed my focus on him as he practiced for a few moments. He was quite adept with the instruments. His left paw glided up and down the neck of the slick. Fluid motions... Yeah. Cl in slick fluid motions as his digits danced across the fretboard. His right paw hovered over the strings as his digits there... As his digits there were hopping. Galloping and plucking rhythmically as he masterful... You think he's cute, right? Damn it, April. The girl even interrupts my thoughts. I, well, kinda, yeah. Well, he's on the market if you ever want to make a move. Just letting you know. He is? I kind of got the impression that he and Pat were... Oh, no. They're not an item. They're just roommates. Oh, my God. God they, they were, were roommates. roommates. <laughs> Can we click it? Yes, that's clickable. Do you really not like my mouse sensitivity? It's so bad. I mean, I'm also used to, like... I'll have to show you what my mouse sensitivity is. I know like. what your mouse sensitivity is. Oh, yeah, you so had... Close that. You had... Uh... Because I straight up... Fi Hang on. Oh, yeah. You had to help me with my computer. Bro, I fucking fixed your computer. It's, it's very high sensitivity. Why? Why is it like that? Like, 
my laptop sensitivity for cursor speed is low, and I like it that way. I like being able to move the mouse across the stream a screen in one fluid motion. Well, that's because you're weird. I used to be like that, though. They were just roommates this whole time. That leaves me with some questions, though. Oh, well, now I'm confused. When Cliff came in yesterday, he was kind of flirty with Pat, and Pat was doing that 230 sharp thing. I was kind of thinking... What? Well, they are fucking... But they're not dating. All right, what 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 is it? What's the secret? What's the secret? There's a secret. There, there's a secret. Amethyst. What what is it? Amethyst, tell What's us. It? Your mom is. Ha <laughs> Oh. That revelation made me feel something strange. I dare say, I feel some jealousy. It's not like I feel <laughs> possessive of either one. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. find myself crushing on Cliff or Pat. I find them both interesting for different reasons, and I'd like to get to know them better. However, this extra friends with benefits element thrown into the mix would make things more difficult if I wanted to pursue something more than a friendship. Hold up, uh, Bowser Puma, if you're here, or if you're watching the VOD. Um, I'm kind of curious because I think this might be a thing. Will Cliff and Pat's route just, like, well, Pat's route just turn into, like, a, uh, friends with benefits sort of thing, or is it going to be a full-on, did your alarm go off? Did your timer go off? No, it hasn't gone off yet. Okay. Um, if, like, is Pat's route just going to be, like, a friends with benefits type thing, or is Eddie, or in this case, Daddy, going to be able to, uh, calm Pat down? Kind of curious about that. Come to think of it, I don't believe I've ever had a friends with benefits myself. Am I just not attractive enough for that kind of thing? What do I... You okay? Hang on, let me just... Earth to daddy. She's snapping her digits in my face. Fucking hell. This is one time I'll appreciate April interrupting me if it pulls me out of a self-deprecating episode. Oh yeah, just things are making sense now. I turn my head and look back at Cliff, who's paused playing at this point so he could give us an amiable wave. I wave back with a grin. If you want to chat with him, you can. There's nothing to do right now. Heading out in 20, just so you know. Yeah, sure, I'll go say hi. I walk into the showroom area where Cliff is situated as he patiently waits for me to arrive. Hey, good to see you again. You sound great. Oh, thank you. I'm just kind of jamming, not playing anything serious. But yeah, good to see you too. How's day three been? So what the heck? Happy. Does Pat actually go to a happy strip club or a happy bar? When the uh, clock. Happy Barra? Like Capybara? Uh, but Happy Barra? See, I actually know where Pat goes. Um, did your alarm go off? Then, yeah, you're good to take it out. Where do I put it? You just, just put it on the table desk. I'll clean it up. Yeah, I'm going to go and start making myself some tea real quick. You know. I know exactly where Pat goes. It's a secret. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I know you said neither, actually, but I read that as nether, actually. He goes to the nether. So, now I'm just seeing... And now I can just imagine Pat making a nether portal and just... Whoop. Mm. I don't give a shit. What? <laughs> Hey, yo. What? The Cappy Boy. Snether? Sneether? Oh, welcome, Bowser Puma. I actually had a question. Actually, no, I want to keep it as a surprise, so never mind. Oh, wow. He remembered that little detail from our last conversation. Um, uh, he goes to the Nether Realm and fights off guests for his rocky, potions. But not too bad. You know... Uh, what? You know, that that is exactly what he's doing. He's going into the nether and fighting ghasts for the 
for the uh, tears. Hi. That's how it always is with new jobs, eh? Yeah, but I'm starting to get a hang get a hang of everything. Do you want me to read for you while you make your tea? I'm almost done making it. Like I just like gotta do some stuff. Hell yeah. Oh, hey, so I got a question for you. Um, is it about the base you're holding? Because... Nah, a question about April's girlfriend. Oh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, her name's Mariah. And sure, go ahead. Mariah, that's right. She's, like, your best friend, right? Sure is. Cool. April gasses her up so much anytime she brings her up in a conversation. So when I'm gonna meet this, so when am I gonna meet this supposed perfect princess? Hey Siri, set a time for ten minutes. So Amethyst, I see your stoner capybara. Okay. However, I don't know how to do a stoner voice. Cool. April gases are up so much like that. Yeah, like, so just like put like more. Surfer, dude. Okay. Put, put, put like a bit of strain on your vocal cords whenever you speak. Just like, Ugh. Ugh. oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Damn it, April. Being all cute and shit. Oh, that's so sweet. April talks about Mariah like that. Seriously. Apes should, would not shut up about her from the, for the past two weeks. It literally got so annoying. Oh, jeez. You're not the first to say that. Hang on, I'm going to pull my hair back into a bun. Why you do that? But, yeah, to answer your question, you'll probably get to meet her soon. I guess. I'm almost positive she's coming to the show on Saturday. Nice. But I had an idea, though. Would you and Mariah want to go hit downtown on Friday night? Oh, like me, you, April, and Mariah? Yeah. Could also see if Pat wants to go, too. Assuming he's not doing his thing. Uh, yeah. The more the merrier, I guess. I don't really have any other plans. Guess what my internal screaming right... What? What are you internally screaming? He's internally screaming everything. Ah. I don't know. Awesome. I'd love to show you two some of the sweet bars we got downtown. Huh. This is similar to Daryl's offer. Maybe we can rope the lion into this shindig as well. Friday night with the boys. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you went out on a Saturday night at 2 in the goddamn morning to go to a restaurant. When it wasn't 2 in the morning. It was midnight. And it was still with, like, some of our friends... You still went out with some of our friends. I did? Yes. When did I do this? This was like a couple months ago. I did? Yes, you went out to a local I went restaurant. Out to a local restaurant. With some friends. With some friends. Because you wanted to. Uh huh. At and midnight? It wasn't at midnight, it was closer to 11. And you didn't get back until like 2 in the morning. Really? Yeah, anyways, just. Yeah, back back to this. Um, perhaps tri as well. <laughs> this would be a great way to get to make good on our agreement to help each other branch out. That's really generous of you. Well, in that case, I guess I'm in. Just have to see if April and Mariah would be interested. Sweet. He cups his paws around his mouth. Hey, apes! I guess we'll ask April right now. Yeah. What? She shouts back. Want to hit downtown on Friday? Mariah's welcome to join. Sure. I'll ask her later. He turns back to me. There we go. We got a little crew going, huh? Sounds like it, yeah. I'm excited. I've never hit downtown anywhere before. Wait. Really? Yeah, the town I come from has like three bars. They all suck. Aw, oh, fuck. Sorry to hear that. That said, I think overall it's a little overhyped. 
Personally, it's not my favorite thing in the world to do. But having a night out with some good friends and some good drinks, can't go wrong with that. Sure can't. Do you have any particular spots in mind? Definitely. It's going to be packed, but Enchanter's Whimsy is my absolute favorite bar. It has fantasy it has a fantasy inspired theme. The servers wear costumes, the drinks are all served in little potion bottles, and it always has the best food trucks outside. That sounds amazing, actually. Yeah, it's so immersive, and they really do justice to the genre. I'm a big fan of fantasy myself. Rice definitely going to love that in that case. She's a big fan, too? Oh, yeah. It's a big muse for her art. Ah, so she does art stuff. Oh, yeah. She's a professional. She dabbles in anything she can get her grubby paws on. Painting, digital art, sculpting, photography... He really trying to be like Mr. Stewie Girl, huh? What? Oh. Cliff? Yeah. Cliff's face lit up with intrigue. Sorry. Photography? Does she have a nice camera? Yeah, it's a couple years old. It's pretty expensive. She spent a few months saving up for it. She uses it all the time, though. That's really good to know. I started getting, to f getting into photography and videography myself. I want to try and find someone who can help me get started. Mariah would definitely love to help. I think she's joining a photography club at Douglas Scott this semester. I'm sure she can pass along some knowledge to you. Sweet. I'll definitely ask her about it. So, what kind of photography are you into? Oh, um, you know, nature and such. Oh, perfect. Mariah loves nature photography. Awesome. Can't wait to get started. Definitely not penis pictures. He looks a little uncomfortable. Not really sure why, though. Maybe I should change the subject. Penis pictures! Ah! So, anyways, are you excited for the show on Saturday? For sure. Tonight's our last practice, so we're really making a count. This is going to be our third time performing. Definitely going to be the biggest show we've had so far. That's exciting. Are you nervous? A little, but I'm glad I have Dave and April on stage with me. Why's that? Dave's as cool as a cucumber. He do he doesn't have any issues performing in front of people. He used to DJ all the time. Definitely not penis pics. Amethyst, it is literally penis pics. I'm sorry. That that's the only thing it could be. Dave the DJ, huh? Learn so learn something new every day. April has tons of stage experience too. She's played with carcinogen since day one. Also, not to mention all the concerts and marches she did for school. I, I, I'm I guessing, Amethyst. I have no idea if it's actually penis pictures. But I'm assuming it is, knowing this game. <laughs> it's literally a game for him and Mama. For real, for real. Hold up! What? Was April a band kid? This one time at band camp? <laughs> Yo, like, a whole ass. Like, a, it's, it's nice to see a band kid in a visual novel. Oh, this is gold! She was... Yeah. Ever since middle school, she's been banging on drums. She always had a little practice pad and drumstick she carried around with her to every class. She'd kill anyone who touched them. This is amazing. I need to know more. Cliff has given me an arms warehouse worth of ammunition I can use against her. And it's all going in my back pocket. I'm just going to sit on it until the time is just right. You better watch out, girl. Well, she was in the regular concert band, jazz band, the and marching band. She'd also provide instrumentals for drama productions, show choir productions, pretty much anything that needed any sort of percussion. She was always involved. That's not the only thing she did. <laughs> hey, yo! Hey, yo! I make a cartoonishly evil chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. This is perfect. This is all great info I can use to pick on her later. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pick on us oh, band shit. kids I too much. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Dr. Strange Love 626. Yeah, sorry. I didn't notice earlier. Cliff's a band kid too. Oh, come on. Don't pick on us band kids too much. 
You did band two? Yeah, I played ba- bass in the jazz band. I'm really glad I did it. Learning jazz band helped me tremendously. Jazz bass. Oh, yeah. Learning jazz bass helped me tremendously with developing my sense of musicality. Oh, so I guess that means you performed with April quite a few times then. Yeah, a few times. I started in my sophomore year. April was a junior. Oh, wow. So you took a way back, way back, huh? Yes and no. We went to the same middle and high school, but we ran in two different social circles back then. Every once in a while, we'd have our rhythm section. Oh, no, I ain't got trigger happy. Nah. But, uh, you could just... Everyone's, uh, we'd have our rhythm, rhythm section banter during our time in jazz band, but that was it. Otherwise, didn't really get to know her on a personal level until I started to come around here. Oh, I gotcha. So that, does that mean you come around here often then? Yeah, as much as I can, really. It's one of my favorite spots. Uh, spots in town. Chester and Dave run a good shop here, or a good show here. It's nice to come by, jam, and pick up a coffee. There's no other music shop like it. Some stores won't even let you touch the instruments. You never feel welcome in an environment like that. (laughs) Horny jail bonk, I even know that sound. Sounds like it. What's even the point of having a brick-and-mortar music store if you don't let your customers try out the instruments? He shrugs. Beats me. Chronicles is definitely unique, though. The business model is kind of kooky, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, hold on. So, what are your other favorite spots in town? Mention this place was just one of them. Just one of them. So, there's Enchanter's Whimsy. I already told you about that. There's also the Dice Tower. It's uh, the it's a local game store. What is with all these like seemingly D and D oriented references? In a tea making mood, do you want a cup of tea? Sure. I uh, I'll make you one after stream. Okay. Oh, like a gamer spot? Oh, that was your line. Oh, like a gamer spot? Nah, Dice Tower doesn't carry any video games. They do card games, tabletop, Dungeoneer's guides to dungeon slaying, stuff like that. Oh shit, they do Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh, proper nerd stuff? I know B&B stands for bed and breakfast, but in my heart, B&B stands for Bungeons and Braggins, and I will not be accepting questions at this time. (gasps) It's because you're evil. Yep, I love it. DGDS, Mystic, the con- Mystic, the Convergence, Battle Axe, 50K. I get knee deep in all that stuff. Ever try any of those games? Can't say I have. Well, assuming things go well with Mariah helping me out with the photography stuff, I definitely would owe you one. If you ever find yourself with some free time and want to get uh, into a new hobby, just hit me up. I guess we got a deal there. Hmm. Maybe it would be, wouldn't be would be such a bad idea to find a new hobby. It was always challenging to find hobbies in Fairview that weren't driving trucks. B and E? Bungeons and engines? No, nah, I think B and E means... Breaking and entering. Bed and eggs. Bed and eggs. Ed and begs? Or meth. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, Cliff, you ready? She shouts to him from across the room. What was it? Sam also wants me to make him a cup of tea after stream. Sure. Ha! That has happened too many times today. So you want me to make you a cup of tea just like stars? Yeah. Alright. Uh, yes ma'am. Cliff stands up and gingerly places the merchandise back in its proper place. 
cool talking to you again. I'll see you on Friday. Yeah, I'll be there. Sweet. Take care. <laughs> or math. Wait, hold on. I gotta catch up. Yeah, breaking and entering. Or bed and eggs. Or math. Bacon and eggs, too. You know what? I like that. Bacon and eggs. But only... B and e means math. Okay. So, <laughs> can we agree that yeah. crunchy bacon is not good bacon? Get out. No, 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 no. Hear me out. If it is to the point where you can hold it in your hand, close your hand, open it back up, and it's crumbled, that is bad bacon. Yeah. Now, if you can snap it... What? It's all of all. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do a thing. Where's my cursor? There it is. Are you setting up horny jail? Horny jail. Horny jail. Uh -huh. Ha ha. Ha. Uh -huh. Go to horny jail. Well, here's the fun thing. I have infinite eggs. For real, for real. Math, math, tomato, tomato. That's what I'm saying. STEM majors, you know? I mean, you gotta ha be on meth to do math. I don't know. I don't do meth, and I've been able to do math. Dang. Get a load of this smart guy. You too. Cliff walks off, following April out of the front door. Looks like it'll piss just be... Key. Huh? I'm gonna piss in your tea now. Why? <laughs> Why? I'm not actually gonna piss in your tea. I may be evil, but I'm not an asshole. You're not a JoJo reference? That happened. That actually happened. Uh, I, don't know, I haven't watched JoJo. Looks like it'll just be me and Chester for the next few hours. Not that I'm complaining. Business picks up towards closing. It's mostly small equipment sales this afternoon. Strings, picks, reeds, tuners, and such. With each sale, Chester reviews with me which, uh, what each item is and how it works. He never misses an opportunity to pass along more knowledge. Crunchy bacon is good, but it has to be a certain uh, crunchy, like crispy but crunchy. Yes. Okay, so I am someone that, like, I like it to have more give to it. Motherfucker over here eats raw bacon. No, it's not raw! The way like, you're describing it might as well be raw. I like to be able to, like, break it in half still, but if I bite into it, it's not, like, it won't fall apart on my teeth. Hey, hey, guess, guess what kind of bacon that is. Raw. That is not raw. You are overcooking your bacon. I'm sorry, I don't like getting salmonella. Salmonella? Uh, I feel like hold on. Food poisoning. But if it's like a jerky bacon, okay, jerky bacon's different. We're talking specifically, specifically, pork bacon. Talking about pork. Yeah. We lock the doors at seven and are out of the building by seven fifteen. Smooth sailing. The car ride starts off quiet until Chester pierces the silence. So. Dave, let me know you and him had a talk. Oh, yeah, everything's good. I'm sorry for causing problems today. I just... Hey, you absolutely are not causing any problems, Daddy. If you weren't, believe me, I'd let you know very quickly. If a little emotional moment is going to be your biggest issue, then you and I will get along just fine. Well, that's good to know. Oh, so how did your lunch di er, lunch with Trent go? It was fine. Things got a bit rocky, but I think it was good overall. Rocky how? Well, there's just some class conflict. So no more. I get it. We got past it, though. He's a bit of a complicated guy, but you're right. He seems to have a good heart. Happy to hear it. Yeah, we're actually thinking of helping each other out with the whole... thing. That's great. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll invite him to a little thing, to a little outing Cliff's planning for Friday. We didn't skip the lunch. We did it, what was it, last stream or the stream before? Yeah. 
Yeah, we did it there. Yeah. We didn't we didn't skip it. Um the VOD will be up tonight. Yeah, and I mean you probably won't hear Star too often just because freak She's deer. Her voice. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, day four, uh Trent is very rarely on screen. Mm. If at all. Yeah, I think he isn't. Yeah, he isn't. I don't think so. You guys going out? Yeah, Cliff wanted to invite me, April, and Mariah for a night downtown. Couldn't say no. Ooh, good for you. Might I make a suggestion? Oh, okay. Uh, sure. I'd highly recommend the Velour Lounge. It's a local gay bar on Sasha, on Sasha Street. Oh, that could be fun. I've never been to a gay bar. Oh my god, thank you for the follow, Saber Wolf. Five, four, six, eight, eight. I think you'll like it. It's cozy and a little high class, too. Um, does that mean it'll be really expensive, though? Well, just show up on Friday. I think you'll be surprised. Huh. What could that mean? Like, the last two nights, we pulled up to the apartment building just as our conversation was being beginning to tail off. Hey, some word of advice. Make sure you bring... Make sure you have some ibuprofen handy. You'll need it in the morning. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the delayed onset muscle pain I hear so much about. It's all part of the process. If you keep at it, the pain will die down over time. Well, at least I don't feel too sore right now. Well, you enjoy that while you can. I'd recommend getting to bed early. Recovery is key. Will do, sir. I unbuckle my belt and open the passenger door. And hey, like I said to you earlier, Dave and I are always here if you need us. I mean that. Noted. Thanks again. Anytime, bud. Go get some shut-eye. I walked into the apartment to a sight unlike the past two nights. Mariah is alone on the couch with a mug of hot tea and paw. You want to get Mariah or do you want me to also get her? I'll get Mariah. Okay, thanks. Hey, you. Hungry? Hey, um, yeah, actually. Famished, to be honest. Perfect. I got some Chinese takeout for you in the fridge. I don't want you to go go in. What? I don't want you going to bed without dinner again. I didn't realize until that very moment, but Chinese takeout is exactly what I need. Oh hell yes! Thank you so much. I shuffle over to the fridge to find a takeout box with General <laughs> So's chicken in it. Ah, oh, General So's. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> you got me my favorite? Of course. Just need to heat it up. Thank you! I did as she instructed and placed the takeout container in the microwave. I quickly nuked my meal and returned to the sofa. Come sit. I parked myself on the cushion next to her to take a few bites of my chicken. Not amazing, but absolutely hits the spot. This is good. Where'd you get this? I ordered it on Post Buddy. The restaurant's just a couple blocks away. We can walk there next time if you want. You mean there's a dope Chinese restaurant within walking distance? This apartment just keeps getting better and better! I take a few more bites before Mariah initiates yeah. the next phase of our conversation. Hey, so I never got a chance to ask you. Did you work out everything with April about the situation you know the situation where april literally saw that <laughs> yeah face. oh yeah yeah it's all water under the bridge if anything the whole ordeal may have made us a little closer oh good i was really worried sounds like i don't need to have another conversation with her about it no no everything's all fine all right with that debacle aside tell me about your day oh gosh where do i even begin was it a lot yeah, it kind of was. We don't have to talk about it right now if you don't want to. Sounds good. I think I'll tell you later. But just know that I did talk about it with other people today. All right. She's looking quite uncertain. I'm fine. Trust me. I'm in the very capable pod with Chester and Dave. Well, I'm really happy to hear that, at least. Knowing you have other people... Looking out for you helps calm the nerves. Yeah, exactly. So quit being such a worrywart. 
I give her a light, friendly nudge. Okay, I'll try. So tell me about your day. How's second day of orientation? It went great. I got to meet my professors and my academic advisor. Oh, I also got to meet with my grad student mentor, who's like my best friend now. Aw, you're already making friends too. Uh-huh. Her name's Joe. Her digital artwork is to die for. I'm so jealous. We talked over for over an hour about digital brushes. That's exciting. How she has a mentor, though. Better than I was expecting, honestly. She was really keen on listening to my questions. She's even critiqued my portfolio. Ooh. She gave me pointers on how to make it perfect for my interview with the academic board tomorrow. Honestly, she's a lifesaver. That's amazing. I'm glad to hear there's someone looking out for you, too. Tell me about it. Super needed. So, what about your classes and professors? How are you feeling about those? Pretty good. They all gave me their syllabi today, so I know what I'm getting myself into. But I'm really excited about this. Ooh. She gestures to the coffee table, which has art supplies strewn throughout. In the center lies a scrapbook in the early in the early stages of development. Is that the main character? Yeah, that's Daddy. Oh. Or Eddie. Two pages of the book are furnished with a single photograph on each one. They're garnished with stylized text and pattern, patterned scraps of paper. The photo on the left is a selfie Mariah took a little over a week ago. It was the last picture she took before we left Fairview. Uh, no, dang it. Trigger happy. April came up to visit and helped us pack up the moving truck. She's looking absolutely thrilled about the whole experience. On the right is a picture Mariah took of me in my room after I'd finished unpacking. She said she wanted to take a picture before the room became a mess, which in all honesty, that's fair. So, for my photography class, 50% of your grade will of our grade will be based on a semester-long scrapbooking project. I already have the project rubric, so I went to Wally World, got some supplies, and here's what I have so far. Wow, Mo, this is cute as fuck. Right? I spent a couple hours working on it today. I really like how it's turning out. T. I do too. So your scrapbook is going to go to de is going to detail on our all our new adventures in Douglas, huh? Yeah, pretty much. It's going to be the story of our new beginning. That's so cool. It's going to be amazing to look back at this in a few years. Edward. That's my hope. It's going to be a great showcase for my photography progression. <gasps> yeah. Love Eddie. Oh, that actually reminds me of something. Do you have anything planned for Friday? Nah, last day of orientation is tomorrow and class officially starts on Monday. So I was just going to do whatever April wanted to do. Okay, good. Do you know Cliff, the Capybara in April's band? I know of him, yes. Well, he's inviting me, you, and April to hit downtown on Friday. She lets out an excited squeal. Oh my gosh! We get to hit a downtown? I'm so excited! We've never done this before! She lets out an elated but nervous gasp. Okay, okay, okay. Can you say that Eddie, the main character, is cute? Uh, As a straight man. He was alright. Maybe a little too big for me, for my tastes. But he was alright. He's adorable to me. What am I gonna wear? Um, how oh. did I censor it? Um, I opened it in Paint 3D. I opened the file in Paint 3D. And then just like drew a little drew a little square and then played with the 3D tool and did it that way. That's that's all I did. Oh, I forgot that there was there was a picture there. <laughs> yeah, there was a picture of nipples there. Yeah. There were nipples there. This laptop I already I already have to mod every other game on he, on here because like my laptop just can't go through there. Maybe, maybe, and we are back 
online. Sorry about that. My Wi-Fi just crapped itself. But as I was saying, um, I, I just used a tool that was already built called uh, RPA Extract. I just like dragged the uh, the one the one RPA file on top of it, and it extracted the files. This is my first time. This is not. It, it wasn't my first time modding Renpy games. I. You can ask him. I mod them a lot. Yeah. Especially Echo. That's Usually for sure. Echo. That's for sure. Always Echo. Sometimes add Astra, but almost always Echo. All right. What am I gonna wear? What do you even wear when you hit downtowns? I have no idea. Wait, I might wanna. Yeah, you might wanna click on the window. Mm-hmm. Uh, ask April on that one. You know how terrible my fashion sense is. I really want to wear something pretty. Maybe a little sexy, too. Maybe I can steal something from April. Hey, if you want to risk getting your paw chopped off, you go right ahead. She'd never. Maybe you should steal one of her chokers. Think she'd notice? <laughs> we both giggled for a moment before she posed her next question. Hold up. So, why did you talk about photography? Rem no. Why did me talking about photography remind you about going downtown? Oh, yeah. So, Cliff is really interested in photography. He wants to meet you and wanted to see if you could help him out. Oh, I'd love to. Any friend of April's is a friend of mine. So, if we were to count all of her friends, you'd have... Three new friends. <laughs> She let out an uncontrollable guffaw. Is that how you say that? Guffaw. Guffaw. Yeah. This was followed by her lightly smacking her arm. My arm. Hey, don't say mean things about my girlfriend. I thought you two established last night that she wasn't a girl, though. Don't say mean things about my menace, friend. We sit in silence for a moment as I continue to chow down. I completely clean out the takeout containers, save yeah, for a uh, few grains of rice. The chat on screen is frozen. Let me let me fix it real quick. <sighs> All right, it's fixed. Yeah. I set the container down and let out a powerful yawn, accompanied with. Accompanied with by a wide stretch? Yeah. You've had a long day, huh? Yeah, that's for sure. Got up super early, worked, worked out. I'm definitely pooped. I shift up to my feet and stretch once more. Alright, time for a food coma. Thanks again for the takeout. Of course. You're not going malnourished on my watch, mister. I'll see you tomorrow. Best of luck with the portfolio interview. Thanks, sunshine. Good night. We shared a quick embrace before I discarded the container and trotted off to my bedroom. We're going to be off here tonight. Alright, I'm gonna give you your chips. Hang on, give me chips. Wait, I think I can just... I'm gonna get there. Um, bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Where's the cursor? Where, where'd it go? It's up on the... It's in the media. It's in media. Oh, there it is.